Mulayam Singh Yadav born the 22nd of November 1939 is an Indian politician from Uttar Pradesh and the founder of the Samajwadi Party. He served for three non-consecutive terms as the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh from 1989 to 1991, 1993–1995, to and 2003–2007 to respectively and also served as the Minister of Defence of India from 1996 to 1998 in the United Front Government. He currently serves as the Member of Parliament in the Lok Sabha from Azamgarh. Personal life Mulayam Singh Yadav was born to Murti Devi and Sugar Singh Yadav on in Saifai village, Etawa district, Uttar Pradesh, India. Yadav has three degrees BA, BT, and MA in political science from Karm Kshetra Post Graduate College in Etawa, AK College in Shikoabad, and BR College, Agra University, respectively. Yadav has married twice. His first wife Malti Devi died in May 2003. Their son, Akhilesh Yadav, was Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh from 2012 to 2017. Yadav had a relationship with Sadhana Gupta while still married to Malti Devi in the 1980s and the couple had a son named Pratik in 1988. Gupta was not well known until February 2007, when the relationship was admitted in India's Supreme Court. Pratik Yadav manages the land holdings of the Yadav family. Political career Groomed by leaders such as Ram Manohar Lohia and Raj Narain, Yadav was first elected as a member of the Legislative Assembly in Legislative Assembly of Uttar Pradesh in 1967. Yadav served eight terms there. He first became a state minister in 1977. Later, in 1980, he became the president of the Lok Dal People's Party in Uttar Pradesh which became a part of the Janata Dal People's Party afterwards. In 1982, he was elected leader of the opposition in the Uttar Pradesh Legislative Council and held that post until 1985. When the Lok Dal Party split, Yadav launched the Krantakari Morcha Party. Topic: First term as chief minister Yadav first became Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh in 1989, after the collapse of the VP Singh national government in November 1990, Yadav joined Chandra Shikhar's Janata Dal Socialist Party and continued in office as Chief Minister with the support of the Indian National Congress, Inc. His government fell when the INC withdrew their support in April 1991 in the aftermath of developments at the national level where it has earlier withdrawn its support for Chandra Shikhar's government. Mid-term elections to Uttar Pradesh Assembly were held in mid-1991, in which Mulayam Singh's party lost power to the BJP. <laughs> Second term as Chief Minister In 1992, Yadav founded his own Samajwadi Party, Socialist party. In 1993, he allied with the Bahujan Samaj Party for the elections to Uttar Pradesh Assembly due to be held in November 1993. The alliance between Samajwadi Party and Bahujan Samaj Party prevented the return of BJP to power in the state. Yadav became Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh with the support of Congress and Janata Dal. His stand on movement for demanding separate statehood for Uttarakhand was as much controversial as his stand on Ayodhya movement in 1990 was. There was a firing on Uttarakhand activists at Muzaffarnagar on 2 October 1994, something for which Uttarakhand activists held him responsible. He continued holding that post until his ally opted into another alliance in June 1998. As Union Cabinet Minister In 1996, Yadav was elected to the 11th Lok Sabha from Mainpuri constituency. In the United Front Coalition government formed that year, his party joined and he was named India's Defence Minister. That government fell in 1998 as India went in for fresh elections, but he returned to the Lok Sabha that year from Sambal parliamentary constituency. After the fall of Adil Bihari Vajpayee government at the centre in April 1999, he did not support the Congress party in the formation of the government at the centre. 
He contested Lok Sabha elections of 1999 from two seats, Sambal and Kanauj, and won from both. He resigned from Kanauj seat for his son Akhilesh in the by-elections. Third term as Chief Minister In 2002, following a fluid post-election situation in Uttar Pradesh, the Bharatiya Janata Party and Bahujan Samaj Party joined to form a government under Dalit leader Mayawati, who was considered to be Yadav's greatest political rival in the state. The BJP pulled out of the government on 25 August 2003, and enough rebel legislators of the Bahujan Samaj Party left to allow Yadav to become the chief minister, with the support of independents and small parties. He was sworn in as chief minister of Uttar Pradesh for the third time in September 2003. It is widely believed that this change was done with the blessings of the BJP, which was also ruling at the center then. Yadav was still a member of the Lok Sabha when he was sworn in as chief minister. In order to meet the constitutional requirement of becoming the member of state legislature within six months of being sworn in, he contested the assembly by-election from Gunnor assembly seat in January 2004. Yadav won by a record margin, polling almost 94% of the votes, with the hope of playing a major role at the center. Yadav contested the 2004 Lok Sabha elections from Mainpuri while still chief minister of Uttar Pradesh. He won the seat and his Samajwadi party won more seats in Uttar Pradesh than all other parties. However the Congress party, which formed the coalition government at the center after the elections, had majority in the Lok Sabha with the support of the communist parties. As a result, Yadav could not play any significant role at the center. Yadav resigned from the Lok Sabha and chose to continue as chief minister of Uttar Pradesh until the 2007 elections, when he lost to the BSP. Topic: 2014 Indian general election. Yadav and other members of the SP were criticized for conducting a festival during a crisis following riots in Muzaffarnagar, Uttar Pradesh. He and his party formed a pre-poll alliance for the 2014 Indian general election that involved ten other parties. He was elected as a member of the 16th Lok Sabha in those elections from two constituencies, Azamgar and Mainpuri, and subsequently resigned the latter seat. The only other successful SP candidates in the election were relatives of Yadav, his daughter in law, Dimple Yadav, his nephews Dharmendra Yadav and Akshay Yadav, and his grand nephew Tej Pratap Singh Yadav. Family <laughs> feud <laughs> Since the young Akhilesh Yadav became chief minister of Uttar Pradesh in 2012, surpassing Malayam's brother Shivpal Singh Yadav, the Yadav family was divided into two feuding groups. One of the groups, led by Akhilesh, enjoyed the support of his father's cousin and National General Secretary Ram Gopal Yadav. The rival group was led by Malayam Singh and supported by his brother and state chief of party, Shivpal Yadav, and a friend, MP Amar Singh. Akhilesh had fired his uncle twice from his cabinet as it was seen by many as a direct challenge to his father, who has steadily supported Shivpal over Akhilesh. On 30 December 2016, Mulayam Yadav expelled his son Akhilesh and his cousin Ram Gopal from the party for six years on the grounds of indiscipline, only to revoke the decision 24 hours later. Akhilesh, in response, stripped his father off the party presidency and instead named him the chief patron of the party following the national convention of the party on 1 January 2017. Mulayam termed the national convention as illegal and directly expelled his cousin, Ram Gopal Yadav, who had convened the national executive convention. But the Election Commission of India ruled that Ram Gopal Yadav had the right to convene that executive convention, and reversed Mulayam's order. Hence Akhilesh Yadav officially became the new national leader of the party. Criticism over comment on rape The crime of rape became a capital offence in India following the 2012 Delhi gang rape incident. Yadav has opposed this change in the law, saying that, "...boys will be boys. Boys commit mistakes." In response to another notable rape case and Yadav's comments, UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon said, We say no to the dismissive, destructive attitude of boys will be boys. 
On 19 August 2015, Yadav remarked that gang rapes are impractical and rape victims in those cases tend to lie. He was summonsed by the judicial magistrate of Kulpahar Court in Uttar Pradesh for that remark. Topic: Support for a sovereign independent Tibet. Yadav has said it is necessary for India to support a sovereign and independent Tibet. He said that a past government had made a big mistake on the issue and noted that he had spoken against it at the time. He believed that Tibet was a traditional buffer between China and India and that India should support the Dalai Lama and Tibetan independence. Claiming that China had secreted nuclear weapons in Pakistan, he cautioned that China is our enemy, not Pakistan. Pakistan can do us no damage. 